Other interesting cultural news, you have Target being critiqued for selling a nutcracker, holding a trans flag while wearing a pride hat, as well as having Santa in a wheelchair and being African American. Will this boost their sales? I would say probably not. Now, this is thanks to a Twitter account by the name of hashtag and wokeness, which I was gonna say A plus for marketing, it's got the cliche alpha male profile picture, and it even says, I support the current thing. So you presumably know exactly what you're getting with this profile picture. A plus marketing, you know what it is. And I can't believe they actually got the hashtag. I can't imagine how many people wanted it. Usually you have to have 12 million zeros and ones and exclamation points to actually get a profile, you know, a Twitter handle. But nevertheless, this comes from End Wokeness. The first picture is of the Ant Nutcracker. And it looks like the color of the Nutcracker's uniform is also trans with the pride flag under his beard. So it's super emboldened. Some people say the most offensive part is that it's $12, which on that note alone, it's a marketing fail. Again, it should be, anytime it comes to them, retail especially, is a fascinating human phenomenon and psychology trick. If you hear $11.99 for an item, you will think it's $11. Despite the fact that with most tex well, Texas, Texas has 8.25% sales tax, realistically, it's going to be more than that. I usually round it up to 10%, so if it's eleven ninety nine, round it to $12, probably be $12.12 per, per the item give or take. So the fact that all these, I guess in terms of equality, all their nutcrackers seem to be $12. They also have a nutcracker of a kitten, a dog, a, a unicorn. When was there a unicorn in Christmas? This is getting out of hand, folks. Uh, and one looks like it's the abominable snowman. Like that makes slightly more sense than a unicorn, but the unicorn has pink hair. But nevertheless, to the topic at hand, it actually has a trans flag that it's holding on to, and the hat of this nutcracker is also pride. And I just looked, the eyeliner looks like it's blue as well, which I, I don't know. I was about to say this. I mean, I thought nutcrackers are all guys. They have a beard, but again, that might be a controversy for another time in and of itself. Now, Target's already been in hot water because they had their satanic materials earlier this year. And when I say that, I'm not being bombastic or exaggerating. The designer from the UK was a self-proclaimed Satanist, and he, or I forgot the legend, I forget the story of the pronouns, but nevertheless, this individual had a pin that you could buy at Target that had a picture of Satan. And it was, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was an enamel pin, it was high quality, it just, you know, it wasn't a stamp press one with just a piece of paper. But that pin literally said, I, it was a picture of Satan, and it said, in bold print, Satan respects pronouns. Now, they also had the controversy with, at the same time where they had the pride section for the kids as well as the swimsuit for trans, was it trans women or trans men, for the individual who just wants to, to uh, tuck their junk or ears, cover your ears if you have children listening, if they want to tuck their balls behind them. It, that was a huge controversy in and of itself, and it caused, I believe, one of the biggest boycotts since the Bud Light boycott. Not granted, nothing's been that as successful as Bud Light boycott in terms of physically damaging the company. Now, Target is still at all-time low, and they have many... They have many issues with the company in addition to cultural. I say this because this is going to be, I mean, we haven't even looked at the comments, but just on its face value, it's going to be controversial. I don't know the percentage of Americans who agree with these two toys or novelty items, but it's something where it's not mass accepted in the United States. It had, I mean, it is a telling of our time where, they, of course, they would never have a nutcracker holding an American flag. I mean, heaven forbid they'd get canceled for that, I would suspect. Now, this tweet has 3.4 million views and 15,000 likes. So as youth might say, it is going viral. And again, there's always been a, uh, I mean, personally, I don't care about having um, a race swap with Santa. It's a little unusual if you're used to the traditional books that you're reading growing up or the films. But I don't know, I want to say that controversy, it didn't die down, but I remember even when I was a kid, they started to introduce that theme. and it didn't seem like a lot of people were really making a big deal out of it. So I don't think that part of these, I don't know if these are toys or decorations, I don't really think that will be a point of contention with a lot of people. It, it's certainly unusual that Santa is in a wheelchair. And I, again, it's, I think he has magic, so I guess he uses that to get down the chimney, but 
I, I'm just saying there's not a lot of chimneys with r wheelchair ramps that I know of. Now, there also looks to be a couple white Santas in the wheelchairs, so got a little diversity there. Now, again, 3.4 million views. Let's go to the comments and see. Are they mainly viscerally roasting Target for doing this? Or are they overwhelmingly praising the company? Let's dive in and find out. One of the very first responses coming from AstroCat9000, who, if you don't get this out too often, but they do get an A-plus marketing because the picture is of a cat with glowing eyes. So it looks almost like a robot, like a, I would guess a nomenclature 9000 implies. So, good marketing. So the Astro Cat, although cats can't talk, so alleged cat, says, quote, I hope black paraplegic Santa brings me a new metal detector this year, unquote. They got 1.9 thousandth likes with a prayer emoji as well. One bad dude says, quote, go woke, go broke. Why do people support these businesses that don't support us, unquote. They got 144 likes. Let's see, Capitalist Mike says, quote, Target is a woke corporation that will end up losing all their customers one way or another due to weakness, unquote. They got 135 likes. Now, that being said, they're also worth billions upon billions of dollars. And again, there's a market for these products, mostly San Francisco, but it's not zero. At the end of the day, the real question is, is the number of customers you're alienating greater than the number of customers you're gaining from these types of initiatives? Now, for the current demographics and belief systems in the United States, I would suspect that at the current time, no, absolutely not. But again, if the growth rates increase at the same rates, uh, generation over generation, in regards to LGLB, uh, L, uh, I can say, get the letters mixed up every once in a while, but the LGBT, as well as these other initiatives, long term, over 50 years, 100 years, it should, statistically speaking, it would be wildly successful for Target. Again, the growth rates have to stay consistent as they have throughout the past generations. But I also don't suspect the company is thinking in terms of a long term vision. I suspect they're looking for short term news headlines, as well as another big thing if you're publicly traded is their DEI score. It has a huge impact on your, not just financing when you go to the banks, but people who are investing in the company and large investors in the world, you know, BlackRock, Vanguard, and not, what's the other one? The other one is, has, uh, not Homestead. Their name is not good enough. They're not great at marketing for me to remember at the moment, but they're initiating and they're pushing these scores. So if you want the big dollars, again, they control like over about $70 trillion in assets. That's a lot of investment dollars. So this is a multifaceted, multivariable issue. It's not just happening just because of one thing. Now, again, going back into the comments, someone by the name of D. McLaughlin says, quote, they're trying really hard to go bankrupt themselves, unquote. That person did get 214 likes. Kyle Becker says, quote, what's Target, unquote. They got 288 likes. Someone did a picture of the SpongeBob episode where they have the fish saying, how many times do we have to teach an old man? And the person says they mean, the person by the name of Ethos says, quote, Everyone getting ready to boycott Target again until they go bankrupt. That got 239 likes. Someone by the name of Jesus Insight says, quote, praying for our country, unquote, getting 137 likes. Funitz says, quote, how on earth is he supposed to go down the chimney, unquote, getting 446 likes. Libercrat TM says, quote, we're talking about the same Target that went after kids with tuck friendly suits, right? Unquote. And that actually has a picture of the Target logo with Target kids in the LGBT, the, uh, wait, the gay, gay pride and the trans flag, the, the, those colors being the colors of the letters for the Target kids that they spell out under the Target logo. That got 252 likes. Wow. Someone by the name of, again, this comes from Libercraft TM says, quote, OFFS, cover your ears, but I'm moderately sure that says for F's sake. Now, the meme or the picture which they actually post says, raise your hand if you're tired of this crap. Unquote. That got 718 likes. Well, now I'm curious. What is their stock at right now? So this came out a couple days ago. Yeah, it's not even down 1%. In fact, what the heck? Earnings center. Okay, that's why. So they, actually, the Q3 earnings were quite good. I was wondering how how the stock jumped up. Their stock in the past five days jumped up by twenty percent. I mean, specifically twenty point seven six percent. But who's counting? Well, I guess I am. But nevertheless, yeah, the current market cap is fifty nine point six four billion dollars. They actually have a pretty good dividend yield of three point four percent. So 
again, this is moderately breaking news. But yeah, it looks like the Q3 was pretty good. We'll do a breakdown of that probably next episode. Do a little analysis there. But yeah, that, I was gonna say, it was, that was pretty interesting. Going back to the comment section, they say, meme, meme um, lives says, quote, why are sales down so much? Target next month, unquote. 573 likes. Sally says, quote, who the heck shops at Target still? I have not stepped inside one since the tuck it underwear debacle. Banned for life. I'm booking 618 likes. Chloe says, quote, where's Satan Santa? I'm booking 15 likes. Final Cut MI says, quote, why is Santa in a wheelchair though? I'm booking 28 likes. Sarah Garcia says, quote, I wouldn't know, have not set foot in a target since Tuckgate, I'm booking 73 likes. Biao says, quote, boycott target now, unquote, getting 119 likes. Now again, in terms of samples, yeah, in terms of sample size, this comes from a profile on Twitter that is a hashtag at and wokeness. So presumably most of the people that follow this individual, they are of the same political mindset. So take that variable into account every time we're talking about statistics or these you guys got to remember your sample size. So I believe the sample size is a little bit shifted than perhaps a huge, again, you're not right. It'd be pretty inconceivable to have the resources necessary to do like a poll of every American in the United States. But again, this is a little bit of a skewed poll, but I do think overall in terms of the whole United States and what the feedback will be from this particular issue, I think there's going to be a fair amount of people who either continue the boycott because they already believe in the current boycott that they're doing, or they'll expand the boycott. They'll start to tell their friends about it, and the moms will tell each other all the other moms. Can't help but think I've never seen a single guy shop at Target. Lord knows I did. I go there. I think I did. I went there once randomly for something in the past ten or twenty years. Let me know in the comments if you're a single guy. Have you ever shopped at Target alone? I don't think. I, I need to call Guinness World Book right now. I very well might be the only person who's done that. Now, granted, it's only one time in the past 20 years. That'd be interesting. But nevertheless, do you think this will overall help Target increase their sales? As there, hey, there are a lot of issues in terms of there's a lot of shrinkage, a lot of theft at the company, and they need to get their sales up, especially Q4 is most important time of the year. So will this help increase their sales and they actually even beat their great results from Q3? Or do you think this might tank the company at the most important time of the year, which traditionally for most businesses is Q4. It'll be interesting to see, but it'd be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Again, thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Don't forget to take the time to like, subscribe, and comment. Trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of November. And your feedback is also greatly appreciated. If you gave me notes in the comment section, that's how I know what things I need to work on to make the show better and better. Also, and lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe. Fight the good fight.